Hey everyone and welcome to I Want The Popcorn. I'm Stephanie, thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button. So we have made it to the end of this Fear Street trilogy and let's talk about part three, 1666. Again, we are telling this story in reverse, but in case you have not seen any of the parts and you're like, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and start off with 1666 and then kind of work our way to the present time, uh, which present time would be the 90s and 94, which is part one. It's not really advisable because part this part right here it's probably only in that time about half the movie or maybe like three quarters of the movie we do circle back to 94 so no you really can't see it in re this way you got you gotta see it the way it was meant for you to see <laughs> so of course 1666 we are in colonial times so this one doesn't really have that much slashing going around uh, which i guess maybe i should start off with my negatives i really don't have too too many but since i kind of already made that point we're gonna just kind of grow with it um we don't have as much bloody gut stuff going on here and you already know or if you've been with me from you know part one from previous i really love slasher type movies i'm not a horror fanatic so i don't like like demonic stuff uh, possession even though there are possessions but it's not done in that really creepy aspect that really gets me scared it's good for like the scary cat people that don't like scary stuff okay you guys i lost my train of thought <laughs> i'm like trying to say too much and not say shit and then like i lost where i was going with it i know i said i was gonna do something i don't like and what was it going to be Okay, I don't know what I was going to say there, but we're gonna go with another negative since we are in the colonial times. We do have them trying to have these accents that they did have back in those times. I don't know, like Irish, I, I don't know. I don't know, like colonial accents, <laughs> whatever accent that time period had. And it did start off for the most part pretty strong with that accent. Like they were like, yes, I'm gonna get this. But then as you know, like the scenes and the time was kind of going, that accent was kind of fading a little bit. I don't know, because it started off really strong and thick and then it was just like, it kind of got lost in there. But honestly, that's really just a, a nitpick. My other thing is that I wish we had got different actors to play, you know, the people in this colonial time period instead of have got the characters from part one and part two uh, to kind of come back over here if anything we should have just kept dina um seeing that at the end of the second part i guess i'm gonna go into minor spoilers in case you haven't really seen all any of the parts but not really spoilers if you've seen part one and part two you know at the end of part two we do see that she when she touches the bones she kind of flashes into 6066 and you see her reflection and it's like oh it's dina sarah right i honestly would have preferred for it to have stayed there as a reflection like it's sarah but dina is there i think they should have had more confidence in the audience that we would have understood that this is who this was and they could have easily had done that with the other characters again not like a perfect movie it does have a lot of things <laughs> like logical stuff but you know what if freaking like f9 can go into space then these kids can do what the hell they want with this damn blood and the monsters and stuff like that that's going on that's honestly i think my only real negatives about the movie i haven't really had any major complaints about it. i do like the origin story of sarah fears and just kind of everything that went along and how the curse actually happened also it is a darker like toned feel um compared to the other two films um it, it does have of course because again we're like in those time periods lack of electricity oh that's what it is i think that's what i was gonna go with the slasher part of it did i mention that already i don't think that might have been where i was going with it not really a negative dislike maybe for it to be the finale i was really expecting like double the gore double the murders double like everything like really really gruesome stuff especially being in that time period like i was just ready for everybody to get like hacked up or something i don't know <laughs> like crazy me was like oh yeah it's gonna be awesome because we've been leading up to it and then like over here all that kind of just like not really like slumbered away like i don't know you guys it wasn't really there uh we do have one part that we do see the outcome with the priest with the children i'm not going to lie even though what i've been like i would have liked to have seen him remove some of these eyeballs maybe not all the kids but if we had just seen them like you know scoop up the eyeball i'm assuming or like poked it out i don't know how he really took out the eyeballs 
but I kind of would have liked to have seen that just like a little bit like I wouldn't have to see like all the freaking children like that would have been too much but like maybe like one you know what we're gonna go ahead and, and, and just cut it there because I've already talked way more than I should have but before I do give you my overall score and how I rank them if you haven't yet give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new Fear Street chapter 3 1666 I'm going to give it a medium popcorn no no combo or anything like that well you know what i am eating it with the coke <laughs> if you're new this whole combo deal with my rankings is like new as a trilogy i'm actually going to rate it a large popcorn i really really love the fear street trilogy even for somebody who doesn't like horror movies but again i consider this more of a slasher nothing really popped out and scared me so that's always good it's really good i mean there are demonic and witchling aspects to it but it's not to this big great extent now the way that i would actually rank all three 1978 obviously would be the last one i just really couldn't get jiggy with the pacing in that one but you know it does have its parts to it and honestly this part now that i've seen part three doesn't really belong like you can really just see part one and part three alone and you ne don't necessarily need to see part two it's kind of like a little filler inner type deal but i think as the story kind of goes it doesn't really do much for it it just really tells you about one of the killings that's happening in my own personal opinion i mean i could be mistaken but i don't really feel it's much of an importance i guess um with it and then of course in uh second place would be 1666 and then of course in first place would be 1994 i just loved it i think the characters there were more likable they have some very very, very surprising kills so that is how i rank the three go ahead and let me know down below how do you rank all three parts have you seen them are you looking forward to watching them are you just gonna pass on them how did you like getting these weekly releases for these movies i personally was totally here for it and that netflix didn't have us wait you know like a month three months six months or even a year but yeah those are my thoughts on fear street part 3 1666 my rankings of the three my overall thoughts on all three of them i did remember something else i forgot to mention um there is an in credit scene so make sure to stay until the end or just fast forward because it's netflix and check it out it's very very quick but is this really the end of your street. All right. Bye.